hello 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 welcome to this channel i trust you are good okay this is a quick one i actually i was into onto a development project using flux and using django framework so i encountered a problem my connection was to sqlite 3 which is the default database that comes with Python. So I encountered the problem in my query, one of my query statements, and I was like, wow, what's happening? I searched online and I could not see the solution to the problem. I couldn't see the solution to the problem. So after trying several times, I came up with the solution. There is the description of the solution of the of the problem I encountered. SQLite three operational error, no such column. I was trying to insert. I was trying to select. Sorry, but it's telling me no such column. And I found the column is existing in the database. I looked around, looked around, and but I could not see. I could not see a way to get go around it. So, but I came up with a solution. I'll show it to you briefly. Please watch this video to the end. Don't skip it because there are some vital instructions at the end. Okay, let me show you the code of my project. Okay, you can see it loud and clear. This is my code. You see the code of the project and the interface on the right hand side. So when I try to select from the interface before performing the query, uh, trying to uh, uh, actually I designed this to uh, for registration the the name must be unique the username must be unique and also the password must be unique so if one of them will not be unique then it will throw me an error okay let's see this for example i have a i, I think i have a registered user with this name okay and i click on register it tells me password is, okay password is must not be blank okay i key in the password and it tells me error that the user with the name already exists. So both the username and the name must be unique. Okay, so that is to say the this name actually does its part of the query very well. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you the query. As you can see, uh, so that I can highlight it. Uh, for you just to see it very loud and clear. This is the first query. It selects, look, this is the first one, sorry. Uh, this is the first statement, sorry. Yeah, this is the first statement. So it selects for the name and it does it very well. It executes very well. Okay, on this other part, uh, let's see the database. Let's see the database. Let's take a look at the database and see what we have okay on the database we have three users three users we have three users and the column is existing all the columns are existing okay good and fine so let's go back and see what will be the outcome of this our uh, query so i'll go with four this is a new NIM that has not been registered in the database, but the admin, we have an, a username with admin. So I key in my password. So I go again. Good. I go again. I say register. Then it encounters this error. Wow. I search online, search on Stack Overflow, search on many other forums, but I couldn't get the solution. What I did was this. Good. I came to my database and I observed that my database 
I observed that my database, when I looked at the schema of the database, it shows that this, I have an integer, the NIM is integer, Why others are virtual variable character. You can see it here, uh, other than a variable character. Then I was like asking the question, why is it that from my in a select statement, from my select statement, it doesn't accept, it doesn't see the selection. But that for the name, it does. That for the name, it does. So I only I compared the two statements. This is the first statement. If you watch this very well, there is nothing wrong with this. Then also look at the second statement. I did the second statement on like onto the first, but guess what? I found the solution. This is it. Because it is virtual, I have to put a single quote round the data, round the data I'm getting from the form. I have to put a single quote. If I put a single quote, in fact, it should be a normal practice. As long as you're using SQL like three, you are doing Django or you're doing Flux, you should always do this. So let's go again. I'll go to the web view. And now I've done that, I'll refresh it. Then we'll see what it tells me. Remember, it's holding. What are the data it's holding? Let's just go back. Let me not just refresh, let's go back, let's see it. It's holding this data. This is a new name, while this is an existing username. So I key in the password, good. Then it tells me what, bam, the username admin already registered. So the cost of that SQL uh, Live 3 of SQL Live operational error is simply because I missed my double quote my quotes here to wrap this this is the cause so i have to always wrap this in a, i also always have wrap this for level me to wrap this it will give me an error an sql light three operational error okay now for those of you asking uh question about why is it that the password I entered on the front end is not what is in the database. I encrypted the password. I encrypted the password. Okay, in due course, this full project will be made available. Will be made available. Okay. So let me just show you this. This is a new name. And I think this is a new username that has not been used. I don't know if I can be used it to tell me. So I click on register. Uh, let me see if that is used. It will tell me. Okay. Database is locked. Okay. I've not done some changes. So I'm saving. That's why. So, so I go with this, and I go with one, two, three, four. Uh, let me check my database. Let me check my database. So, see. I take my database to see if, okay, yes, no, good. I'm just referring to the database. I open it again. Good, I save this. This was causing database locked. So I go back to my user table. Okay, perfect. Then I go back to the web view, I go back to the web view to insert, then I click on register, 
and sent me it is registered okay that is it thank you very much for spending time with us on this tutorial we are very uh, sorry actually it's not a tutorial it's a tutorial it's just to give assistance to those that might likely encounter this problem so in the course of development if you see an issue like this please don't hesitate don't spend much time just put a single code in your in, in the variable you are getting from the form and please ensure that if you are using single quotes you always use a double quote at the beginning and at the end of of your query statement if you observe clearly you see you you, you notice that at the beginning at the end of this statement this is a double quote this is also a double quote because there want to be single quotes within uh, i remember i told you it is a nice practice to always have this to always have this and make this a single quote so i always do this then let me run the project again okay now i can check on my web view i log out okay i go to log in sorry i'm still developing it so i'm not i'm not fully done with the responsiveness so i go with uh to register then register uh something that is existing something that is not existing something that is not existing okay then i put this good then it tells me this is already existing in the database so it is always a good practice to do to have your pro your query this way especially when you're using sql like three so that you wouldn't be thrown into an error thank you very much for this tutorial please you can do well by sharing to assist others people so that they will know how to easily solve this problem thank you